Welcome back, everybody. These conditions at this hour would be favorable for Halloween night as we go trick-or-treating, certainly for safety reasons as well. It is warm, though, dry. It's still 63 degrees over in Houghton and Hancock, well above the average for this time of year and also above average for daytime highs in Marquette at this hour. It's 57 degrees, a strong southerly wind blowing 20 miles per hour. That's sustained. That's lasting for at least 10 minutes. A gust will be higher than that. We're having pressure fall across upper Michigan at this hour. Here's the almanac data from National Weather Service Marquette. Sunset is around 6.40 p.m. Eastern Time. The weather forecast office got as high as 59 degrees. That's 13 above the average. Well, it'll be, look at that, Ontonagan, 72. That's the max temperature today. We had a chilly start in places like Ishpeming, Peavy Falls in Iron County, and Stonington at 27 to start Monday. We're below average at the weather forecast office for precipitation for the month of October and for this year so far. We could get a rebound coming. As we take a look at your weather headlines, and ooh, there's that spooky witch there. Please don't turn around, scare me, because I know it's going to be frightful for some of us with our weather outlook. You see it picking up with rain Wednesday and then even a snow mix for Halloween. If you're going to be out there, I can't rule it out that there's, I can't say that there's going to be some dry areas out there. Please be safe and have a flashlight. Be seen and watch out for each other, yeah? Okay. Here's the change. Low pressure system over the northern plains and a secondary system, a wave developing over the areas of rock, the Rockies, the lee side in Colorado. That's going to bring more of the rain boost to Wednesday and Thursday in upper Michigan. Increasing clouds tonight and a strong south, south wind coming in and it'll bring some scattered showers. It's going to be spotty, widely scattered showers, an isolated thunderstorm, especially towards eastern upper Michigan during the overnight hours for Tuesday as we roll towards midday and the afternoon afternoon. We can catch some sunny breaks. We'll still feel a southerly breeze. Hold off on the outdoor burning, but then another system to come will be for late Tuesday and then to Wednesday where it could be widely scattered. It'll start off in areas along the western UP for rain and thunderstorms before spreading across the region into Wednesday night and through early Thursday as well and even most of Thursday as well, which is Halloween. Precipitation forecast as we get to Tuesday and Wednesday morning, there could be light amounts before these totals start to spike up over an inch and a half even two inches is possible for some areas shaded in the purple by Thursday night. Storm Prediction Center also has us under general thunderstorm possibilities for Tuesday through Thursday morning and the main hazards will be some downpouring rain. Small hail can't be ruled out but some strong gusty winds. Tonight's lows will range from the upper 40s to the 50s. Strong southerly winds, isolated thunderstorms and same for your Tuesday but catch some sunny breaks. TV6 extended forecast though as mentioned for tomorrow the wildfire risk could be high, so hold off on the outdoor burning, especially if your local DNR says there is no open burning permitted. Wednesday and Thursday, Halloween look in scattered rain and an isolated mix. Let's go see what we can do on the timing here. Check out the timing, some rain and some the possibility of wintry mix over the western UP Thursday afternoon and then towards the evening hours, especially along the western highlands before we start to taper off into Friday. As we take a look at your first weekend of November, we are going to set those clocks back an hour on Sunday morning, and it's going to be another round of rain to come for Sunday and next Monday. Good thing to remember, daylight savings time. Mm. Thank you for the reminder, as Sorry. always. Well, coming up next, TV6 